I would like to welcome everybody to this edition of FearCast. I'm going to do this one solo this time. I'm going to call this Shelter in Place. Um, we are in the state of Illinois going on just over five weeks of our mandated shelter in place. And it's something that is very weird, especially if you have kids because you're with them 24 hours, seven days a week. And you have to constantly come up with something different every day, every day. And the e-learning is good, but it also is very tedious because when your kids are home, they all they want to do is play. And there's not a lot that you can do to break that because when they're at home, they want to go outside. They want to ride a bike. They want to play video games. They want to play on their tablets. And the hardest part is that the kids have no interaction with their friends. And five and a half weeks is very uh, weird. And like I said, it's just something that we're not used to. Yeah, you can go out to the stores, gas stations. You can walk around the block. You can't go to any parks. And it's just something that you have to really try to keep your mind occupied with. So I hope everybody out there is safe. I hope everybody out there is trying to get by and, and hopefully... And, you know, when all this is said and done, we don't have to worry about this anymore. And it's just uh, something that's different and not sure how, how to go about your lives. But hopefully everybody is able to find something to do and stuff like that. So this kind of podcast is just going to be something that... I'm just going to discuss about maybe things that that are going on with the Fiero community, the Fiero Club, uh, events, and you know just just ways to help out as well. So, um, uh, you know, first I want to take a a moment and and just say thank you to everybody out there that is uh, first responders, that are frontline workers, essential workers. And if, if anybody can help out in any way, shape, or form, it is much appreciated. Um, shout out to some of our Fiero Club and Fiero community members who are helping with essential workers and frontline workers. I know there are many of you out there that are producing uh, face guards and face uh, holders. Uh, that are 3d printed and everything that you guys do thank you very much um there's there's a lot of you out there and it doesn't go unnoticed and it's just something that uh, we want to say thank you for um again just a uh, thank you to everybody that's out there helping everybody with this covid19 and hopefully um we can get through this with uh not a lot of damage moving forward we're going to be discussing over the next, hopefully every month, I want to try to be doing this, but our lineup looks like something like this. If you have any ideas that you want to send my way, I'll uh, read my uh, email address at the end of this podcast so you guys can email me. But here's just some of the, the things that we've got coming up. Um, we've got Let's Talk the EG. And that's the enthusiast guide to the Pontiac Fiero that the Northern Illinois Fiero enthusiasts have put together. Uh, it debuted back in 2005, and I believe they've sold over 2,000 copies uh, up to this point. We're going to talk to uh, Paul Vargas. He is the uh, author of the Fiero Price Guide, and he'll go into some details on, on why he decided to start doing this. It's been in every issue of uh, Fiero Focus in the uh, March-April issues. That's our always been the uh, Price Guide issue. Uh, we're going to talk with Jennifer Goss. She is the owner of the Blue Demon Fiero. 
and also her other fleet of Fieros, and the success that she has seen on the quarantine car show that the Mid-Atlantic Fiero owners have put together, and we'll go a little bit more into that when we get into the events section. Uh, we're going to talk to the ladies of Knife and what it is with the real life of a Fiero, Fiero with a Fiero hobbyist, and does it mean that we're married to our Fieros? We're also going to talk with original owners group. These are fear hobbyists enthusiasts that are the original owners of their Fiero, or it's been handed down to them via a grandparent or parent. So with them being the original owner and it being a hand-me-down or something that was given to them, it's a uh, still original owner it's still within the family we're going to talk with christian sass he is the uh, fear focus illustrator you might seen uh, some of his illustrations on the cover in the past year or so and then uh, also talk with him about some of the designs of fear focus and how we've evolved over the last 20 years uh, another nice one we're going to talk to is Matt from the Fiero store. We'll get some ideas on uh, what's coming up and uh, just talk to him about uh, the success of the Fiero store. Uh, we're going to talk to um, the members of Knife and the board on their prize show Fiorama and what it's done and how the success has gone over the last 25 years. They're celebrating their 25th anniversary this year. Uh, we're going to talk uh, Fieros and V8s, customs, uh, all different types of uh, V8 Fieros with V8 Archie. So that's going to be an interesting one. And then we've got many more coming up too. And again, if you guys have any comments or or ideas of podcasts that you want me to do, go ahead and email me. Um, you can always find us on uh, fierofocus.com under the uh, video section and then uh, Fierocast. Um, we're also on Facebook. We've got uh, at Knife Club and our second page is at Fierama and that page is dedicated to Fierama with all the information of the upcoming show and past shows. So let's start uh, uh, talking about the shelter in place and what what are some projects that can be done or what uh, uh, have have been done. It's like an extended winter if you want to say that. Um, started back for us in March of uh, March 21st I believe. Uh, up to that, uh, we were able to move about and do whatever we could. And, of course, for Illinois, it's kind of still the, the late part of winter, so we don't really have much going on. But, um, it's uh, like I said, it's been different. It's never been seen before in our lifetime. So, if, if you guys have any projects that uh, you've done... Uh, go ahead and post them to our Fiero Facebook page, and uh, we can um, look at them and just see what uh, projects have been done over the past couple months. Uh, as probably most of you have known, um, Illinois has been uh, now extended in shelter in place through the month of May, and we hope that by the time that comes around that we can start getting back to our new normal life. And... Um, see what that brings it's probably going to be something where we're going to have to wear face masks for the next couple months to maybe the rest of the year but we'll see um you know this COVID-19 is 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 pretty rough um I've had a chance to talk to a few people that have had it and that are recovering and I I don't think this is anything that anybody ever wants to get it's um pretty nasty so uh, if somebody in in our fear community has it um sending prayers your way we hope you recover fully and 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 you know just spread the word and tell them wash your hands stay six feet away um and just 
you know, hopefully everybody understands how, how bad this virus is. And, you know, it's, it's something that, uh, that we hope that never comes across our way again. It, it has changed our way of life. So, uh, not only our lives, but some of our small businesses. And if you look at that, you know, the, the best way to kind of do that is support your local businesses, shop your local businesses when you can. Uh, I know we've ordered food curbside pickup from our local restaurants. And as soon as you pull up and they confirm your name for pickup, they just they are so happy and proud that you've ordered from them and you support them. Um, some some restaurants, after a week, they'll you know some will donate money that they profits that they've made, not to their local community but to their hospitals just to help them, you know, get more uh, face masks or just gloves. But this is the time that all the communities need to join together and, and, and help out and not only supporting your local, but our, our fear community as well. And not a lot of people know that, you know, a lot of our Fiero members and Fiero community members that operate businesses are small businesses. So if there's anything that, that you see or want to buy from them, this is the time to do it. Help support them. You know, we've got the Fiero store. They've got a large section and array of, of Fiero parts. Rodney Dickman, you know, he makes custom parts and they're all custom. And, and he spends a lot of time making these. And it's just you know, some of these parts that he makes are are like 100% accurate to, to what is needed for the Fiero. So again, you know, he's a small business. Let's su support him. The West Coast Fieros, Fiero Factory, uh, Mr. Mike's, and, uh, and, and there's, you know, you got Andy's Auto Parts. There's so many, you know, even a new one coming up this past year, Keith Goodyear with his new GT taillights. And, you know, who would have thought <coughs> as soon as all the production set came along and he started selling them that this COVID thing happened. But again, he's, you know, has all these GT rear tail lights that he's ready to sell and he's doing great at it. And let's, you know, support them. Another one, the, the Fiero Focus knife store. There's a lot of merchandise on there and, and you know, help support local clubs too. Aero Silk Screening, he does a lot of, of, of t-shirts and screen printing for not only the Northern Illinois Fiero enthusiasts, but the Midwest Fiero clubs, the Minnesota Fiero, it's forever. You know, again, not thinking that these are small businesses, they are. And Bonter Solutions, they do a lot of stuff for, you know, the Dells, uh, the Minnesota group, the Knife group, um, even uh, Iowa, the Heartland Fieros. So anything that you can, you can think of and need to buy or want to buy, you know, support these guys. And just to give you an idea, you know, Bonter Solutions, you know, if you're looking for that special personalized gift for someone, Bonter Solutions can help you find that one-of-a-kind gift. Anything from t-shirts, sweatshirts, drinkware, signs, decorative items, holiday items, and so much more. They can design pretty much anything you want on them, from pictures of your car, your favorite sports team, a pet, your even any saying that you want to put on there. The list is endless. Minimums are just one of each or many. The best thing is they do not charge for a setup fee. You can catch Bonter Solutions at several Fiero and Pontiac events in the area. Just to name a few, Fiorama, the Dells Run, the upcoming 40th anniversary of the Fiero, and 2021's Indian Uprising All Pontiac Show. So feel free to visit their website at bontersolutions.com or give them a call at 847-453-3290. Events. How has the COVID-19 pandemic 
impacted the 2020 season? Well, we've had some cancellations. We've had some postponements. We don't know when this shelter in place is going to end. It could end in May, could end in June. They may say, nope, we're going to send everybody and stay at home till December. But looking at the events, if you want to start with uh, the Dells, it's the first time in uh, ever that the Dells has actually been canceled. You can go back to, uh, let's see, 20, 2015, 2012, 2013, uh, with the anniversary of the Fiero for the 30th, when we were down in Indianapolis, people would say, oh, well, that show is that canceled. Well, it was postponed because it was scheduled a couple of weeks before the 30th. So they wanted to kind of say, hey, you know, let's postpone it for the year and let's go ahead and let everybody spend their money and their time and to the 30th. So that show is actually postponed. It was never canceled. This year was the very first year that the Fiero Dells run has ever been canceled. So that was that was the first one. Uh, then we got word that the Back to the 80s show was canceled. And again, due to the shelter in place, no groups larger than 10 were allowed. Um, you know, we're still waiting to hear back on, on, on what's going on with, uh, maybe Carlisle, you know, that's there, that, that's coming up at the end of June, but hopefully you know, that doesn't get canceled. We've got the Fieros in the village. Um, I know that date is still be, to be determined for, for this year. That's supposed to take place in June. Um, we've got the, uh, Kansas city fear of fun fest. Again, not sure what's going on with that. That's going to be in July of 2020. We've got uh, the 11th annual Tyler Shipman Show up in Freezy, Minnesota. That's at the end of July. Um, hopefully with that one, we we can get in and get that one going because they're, they're, they're in the northern part of Minnesota. And if there's only restrictions on group size, that might be the only reason. But we're we're hoping that that one does uh, take place and was is able to to happen. Um, I know Iowa doesn't have a shelter in place, but I think they're limiting to the groups. But uh, hopefully, come September, we we can uh, head over to the Quad Cities area and uh, uh, go ahead and and get the Heartland show in in the schedule as well. Um, and then a week or so after that, we've got uh, Fiorama weekend, and that's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we're hoping again that um, Illinois can can lift this uh, shelter in place, and and this show can happen. Um, I think the only thing that's pending with all these shows is group size, and. I mean, I know when you're outside, you're more than six feet away from each other, but you know, it all depends on group size, how many that they'll allow within a group setting. So we'll have to, I know, I know, I know the group is, is raring to go and it's still on the schedule to get this one under the, under the gun to get this in the books, but uh, we will see. Um, and then after that, uh, with the mid America Fieros, they're still looking at doing their Kentucky Lake cruise and that's going to be towards the middle 10 to September as well. So again, so many events that we've got coming up, so many events that we hope can stay in place. Um, it, I, I know that the ones that have been canceled are, are big shows that everybody loves to go to and it's sad just to see them uh postponed or canceled for this year um you know the the one thing that has um uh come up that's new uh again different that's never been done uh, that um, is these virtual car shows they um, have been popping up over the past couple months, and it's a submission of a photo. You submit your photo or photos, no registration fees. It's uh, you submit your photo or photos, uh, make, model, car information, what you've done to it, if it's stock, custom, heavily modified, project, stuff like that, and send them in 
to to various groups that are hosting these virtual car shows and they either go through them and they pick out the the top best ones and they get those out for votes or they actually have classes and you can get, submit towards your class and again submit as many pictures as you want and it goes to vote uh, a couple of them there's uh uh, Crum and Coffee in uh, Naperville, Illinois, just did that uh, today, and um, or yesterday. Sorry, yesterday. I, you know, when you're when you're home so many days, and you really kind of lose track of what your uh, Monday through Sunday is. So, pardon me if I say today when I meant yesterday is Saturday. <laughs> um, so that one was short. That was a nine to eleven. Uh, corresponds with their chrome and coffee and you uh submit your pictures open registrations from nine to ten and then you vote from 10 to 11 and then they award the prizes after uh, they're not virtual prizes they actually will send you uh the prizes via mail and um but uh, it's pretty interesting so there's there was that one uh there was uh one a uh, couple weeks ago that um uh, uh, is big out in California, Radwood. They um, had a virtual show via Instagram, and you would uh, submit your photos and tag them. They would then, uh, I know they went through them, and uh, they had a team pick out uh, the the top, um, I think, 25. They had five or six classes. But from what I know on that one, they had over 2,000 photo submissions, and they narrowed it down to just about 100. And um, we had, uh, in the top 100, we had one that uh, fear I believe that was in there, which was uh, Sadie Kaminsky. And uh, she was... Um, did not win an award, but it was great to see a Fiero in there and a great representation of the Fiero uh, for for that car and, and for, for the Fiero community. So thank you, Sadie, on that one. Uh, and then uh, the big one that um, the Fiero community had was uh, from the Mid-Atlantic Fieros. Uh, Jen Goss and her group set up this uh, quarantine car show and it um it was bringing the fear uh to the show from your garage and you can submit as many pictures uh i think they had uh, 105 entries and over 600 photos that they had uploaded uh for each class uh for this event um and they actually had this one broken down into uh groups or classes and it ranged from stock to custom to to modified and i i'll i'll say that this was a pretty cool show um it uh it, it really kind of took the the show season it, it really took the uh the show or a show like this to the next level and i'm trying to go through and and, and find it here but it um it was completely different and it was very interesting so there was an open registration i think she gave two weeks to to go ahead and and submit your photos and the information on your car and then uh everything was then uploaded and she presented it uh about a, a couple of days later and uh you're able to uh vote via i believe it was a uh, google and uh, many many different classes and the open registration was like i said a couple weeks and then once everything got settled you were able to to go ahead and, and vote it was open voting as long as uh, you had an email address you were able to vote uh, it went through yesterday late last night and the uh, some of the uh, uh, awards and winners of each class were starting to be announced on Sunday uh, there was first, second, and third, and some of these classes in included uh, non-aero stock notchback. Then we had uh, stock aero notchbacks below sixty thousand, stock fastbacks above sixty thousand. Uh, a couple of custom classes we had mild custom, wild custom, uh, custom fastbacks, modified notchbacks. Then they had modified fastbacks with V8s, modified fastbacks with thirty-eight hundreds. 
modified fastback with other engine swap mods. And then they had the uh, rebody kit cars and work in progress. And then the uh, interesting one was they had a go-kart class too. That's kind of cool. But, uh, but yeah, they, they spent a lot of time and, and, uh, or, or we hope to, um, get uh, a nice conversation with Jen here and, and, and talk about her, her fear of collection and, and, and what she thought of, uh, on how this quarantine car show went. Um, it's, uh, pretty interesting and this might change you know the way car shows are done over the next couple of years and you know something that uh, you know if you can't get out to one it's it's easy just to submit photos um, many many other uh, groups around the area here in Illinois we've got uh, carousel sounds that does car shows um, uh, BGV Motorsports does uh, their shows they've got a series of shows uh, four set uh, northeast west and south that they do and you compete in their championship show in September so it would be interesting to see how how that affects them and and you know they they host so many other cruise nights and car shows throughout the year and they uh, donate a lot of um, proceeds for to their charity of choice which is st. Jude's and um, so it's uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the course of of the summer with with this so um, and and some of the local uh, group here you know we in the northern Illinois fear enthusiasts have had to postpone and cancel some of their events again uh, you know first time in a long time that we've had to cancel and postpone most of the times that we've had to postpone or cancel has been due to snow and you know, again this is unprecedented so but uh we're hoping after all this is said and done um i know we had uh ray dearson's fear of parts barn sale uh he's moving and a lot of stuff in his barn he just can't take with him you know he's selling many fear cars uh parts uh including um some of the cars is an 88 gt t-top an 88 formula t-top 88 formula and various other project cars he's got a lot a uh, big large collection of uh, NOS parts new and used including six parts cars that you can pull stuff from uh, hundreds of fear models and toys and just you know bring a trailer and 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 see what you can walk away with um, for cost <laughs> uh, the sale uh, when it does happen I know like I said it's been postponed but you know we're hoping that we can get this one underway but it's gonna be from 9 to 5 and um, it's gonna be out towards Winnebago in Illinois so it's about five miles west of Rockford but um, I know there's a, a you know good group of uh, Iowa come in, Wisconsin come in, Illinois will be there, probably a few people coming up from uh, St. Louis too. Um, if you want to volunteer, you can get a hold of uh, Jim Hallman at uh, jhallman at fearfocus.com if you want to help and volunteer. So um, we had to uh, postpone and cancel uh, till 2021. We had a, a great uh, meeting that we had planned on updating and upgrading your audio system in the Fiero. Uh, the discussion was going to be, be uh, presented by Tom Griffiths. He's our newest NIFE club activity director. Um, he is also um, an MECP first class certified mobile installer and uh, was uh, Best Buy's install trainer uh, for the new stores that opened up back in the, the 90s. So he knows his stuff on uh, installation. Uh, he's installed over 2,000 systems, not just in Fieros, but uh, all through different models, uh, complete system and multiple components. He's a uh, good uh, sound system competitions that he's done as well. Uh, he will uh, s discuss some of the old school systems that will work best in their Fiero and to the full blown system uh, if you want to blow your windows uh, out. if you want to make that happen or if you just want to keep it nice and in tone uh, many components will be available to look at as well uh, when we are able to conduct this meeting and um, 
and we'll also talk about new and old school amps, head units, uh, signal processors, bass enhancement devices, and subwoofers. And then he'll go into some of the installation and installation hardware that you, you may need as well. Um, and then if time allows, I know uh, Ray Dearson was going to uh, play a game called Guess the Part. So uh, again, it sucks, but uh, you know we do have to to think of the safety of our members and stuff like that. And we hope to get this back on the the schedule in in early twenty uh, twenty one. So um, another one that uh, we were looking forward to this year is the spring driving tour down to uh, Star Rock in uh, Utica, Illinois, and uh, we're going to do some nice driving and um, nice luncheon as well down there in LaSalle County at the Historical Museum. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we may move this one back and do this as the fall color tour. Uh, I know there's some nice colors that uh, happen down in the Starred Rock area, but uh, we'll keep you updated on that one as well. Um, and again, the uh, one at the end of May that we were really hoping uh, we could all participate in is the Dells Run. So, and that one unfortunately was canceled for this year. Looking at June, if uh, the shelter in place gets lifted, uh, I know there are probably going to be some restrictions on group amounts, but we're hoping that by the end of May everything kind of starts working its way to normal. And we've got um, our hopefully our first event then of the season. Uh, for the past couple of years, we've um, participated in the James A. Lovell Federal Healthcare Center Car Show. Uh, this will be their 17th year and it's open to all makes and models. Uh, we've seen exotic cars, we've seen some radical cars. Uh, we've had a good turnout for this one and we usually meet up at the uh, Cheesecake Restaurant and then head over. It's a very short show. Uh, it goes from 11 to about 2, 2.33 o'clock. Uh, they provide a free lunch, uh, usually hot dogs, brats, or sometimes hamburgers, chips, pop, all of everything that you can kind of think of for lunch that they they do uh, er, again if you do a donation it goes to the uh, the healthcare center but again we're gonna see on how this one also plays um, I know that uh, the healthcare center up there has been pretty much on lockdown and it may stay that way but we'll keep you updated on that. Maybe it's going to be at a different location this year, depending on how everything plays out. But again, this is a great show to go to. We've supported this one many, many years. Um, at first, uh, when we first started going, they um, had only three awards out of, I think, uh, 200 cars that showed up. They, they gave away uh, three awards the first year the next year they did five again because it's all a, a free volunteer show uh, they usually look um, uh, for somebody to help with them on the awards and uh, about uh, two three years ago uh, we stepped up and uh, provided an additional five awards and they were so ecstatic and they uh, thanked us and we do that uh, every year and uh, last year uh, we had to postpone it because of the heat i think that a uh, weekend of the show it was uh, heat indexes of 110 115 so they uh, postponed it to this year and hopefully this year we can uh, again do the donation of the five additional awards that just shows that uh, more than just the three four or five that they originally did so but uh, yeah um, and then uh, hopefully again, you know, we're moving uh, further into the year and uh, around August, uh, mid-August, um, we want to support one of our key sponsors for Fiorama, and that's Woody Buick GMC, and they're hosting uh, their show on uh, the 15th of August, and that's always been a good show as well, and we always like to show support. Uh, registration for that show is five bucks. Again, it's a great show to go to. We've seen a lot of uh, Fieros that uh, have uh, come to that too so it's uh, interesting and it's a local show and again you're supporting a key sponsor yeah as far as events go that's basically it for this year um, 
we've got uh, you know a few maybe smaller ones in between but overall that's that's kind of what our summer looks like um, and that's if we do have a summer so but I know a lot of people have um, kept their cars in the garage they drive around the block they go out for a little small cruise on their own um, participate in a, a kid parade uh, birthday which are pretty interesting it's a uh, you get that uh, signs that are posted in your yard says happy birthday and you get a group together and you uh, drive in a line honk your horns and wave and that's your social distancing and uh, you, know, you really look at it it, it is kind of you know again the kids you know they've never seen this and they're like well why can't i celebrate my birthday with my friends why are they just driving by in a car so it's uh definitely going to change the way of life here once everything is said and done all right well let's move along and again the next uh then we get into september and we've got uh, fiorama but we'll go into that in uh in a few minutes um you know again supporting local businesses you know you also you know help support the your local fiero club as well and um one way that um you know you can help support knife is um going to their store and if you look at some of the items they have in their store you can subscribe to Fiero Focus that's an award-winning uh, magazine they just uh, took for 2019 the old cars weekly golden quill award and um, uh, congratulations to the team on that that's uh, you know something that uh, has has been a great uh, award given to this magazine over the last many years um, they first took it in 95 and then uh, 1999 through 2017 and then there was a uh, glitch within their system so they weren't able to to award any participants uh, or submissions in 2018 and then uh, they came back they fixed the glitch and and 2019 the the group took a golden quill award for this year they've also taken the international automotive media awards in uh starting back in 2003 uh 2004 5 6 7 8 9 and 2011 so again congratulations to the the team on on that award as well but uh yeah so you can get your subscriptions or renewals on the fiero uh nife store page you can also find the um, enthusiast guide to the pontiac fiero version 4.0 it's got a very cool picture of an indie on the cover of this one they uh still have issues of the special edition fear focus magazine from the 35th anniversary show on there i believe I'm not 100% sure. There might be some uh, 2019 Fiorama shirts left, but I know they are working on the 2020 version, and they're going to get that one up there soon. They've got uh, camouflage baseball caps um, for the, the Fiero. They've got regular Fiero baseball caps, NIFE uh, camouflage cap. They got some isolated uh, insulated coolers. Uh, custom uh, pop socket pop grips the nife ecm code reader package and uh, we might actually do a podcast on that and and to help people out and and see how uh, that works um, actual ecm reader package consists of a business card size uh, informational and uh, piece it has a plastic holder with the code reader key and a t15 torque wrench so you can take that panel off uh, you can uh, check your engine light on your fiero you simply remove the two torque screws with the uh, by the cigarette light cover plate with the t15 torque wrench provided uh, then follow the instructions on the card which tell you how to read the codes by inserting the stainless steel code key provided um, in there as well into the ALDL connection and then once you have the codes uh, you can turn the card over to find out what the, the reason of that code is and then if you wanted to you can access the uh, fearofocus.com and you click on the tech tips you can actually access all of the ECM codes and they will give you a printout and you can download it to see how uh, the complete analysis and how to check the procedure on the code and how to fix it as well so the the group has worked uh, pretty pretty intensely on that as well 
So good, uh, good job on them. Uh, they got some window stickers, some polo shirts. Uh, they got some sweatshirts and two colors, gray and black. And then they've also got their uh, uh, t-shirts. So and, and again, you know, it's you, you don't think of a club as a small business, but you know, anything that uh, you can do to help your your local clubs, you know, the Minnesota Fiero Club, the Michigan, the Iowa, Wisconsin, uh, Mid Atlantic, New England. Uh, anything out in the west coast down south uh you know support them if you got memberships or subscriptions and that's the best way to support support them and and uh and make sure that keeps up and running and you know during this time support everybody in the fear community if you can and 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 just uh reach out and say hey you know can i help you with anything or you know i've got uh you know this part that i need you know do you have it i like to buy it so again anything that uh you can do to help support your local clubs or your local fear community small businesses um it'd be much appreciated you know and um you look at the the fiero store you know we we all know how hard it is to find fiero parts we also know that uh, as the years go by finding parts is going to get harder and it's not going to get any easier the big box stores will never make new fiero parts we know that because our community to them is just too small this is why we need to support the companies who support us and for nearly 30 years the fiero store has sponsored our club events provided free technical support and produced well over 150 exclusive parts that no big box store would ever even consider so next time you need new parts or restoration parts head on over to the fierostore.com and browse through thousands of products that are specifically designed for your fear that's fierostore.com the world's largest source of fear of parts so moving on and again hopefully that in in september we don't have to um, postpone or cancel and everything kind of starts working out is uh, the 25th anniversary of fiorama and it's hard to imagine 25 years already for this show and we hope that um you you tune in later to a future podcast when we discuss Fiorama with with Knife and the and the board and and what goes into producing and making a show like this and, and again for 25 years. Um, this year's show is on uh, September 13th. It's a Sunday and it goes from nine to five and it's at Potawatomi Park in St. Charles. This year's theme is Soaring to New Heights and for 25 years they've been doing that. To, to get that far and come up with so many different uh, themes and ideas is fun and this year the Soaring to New Heights we take it to New Heights and the big event that uh, besides the big show on Sunday is uh, again hopefully uh, it doesn't get canceled is uh, the Waukegan Air Show and from hey, like 9 to 3 we're going to participate and uh, head up into um, uh, Waukegan and it's going to be the Northern Illinois Air Show Wings Over Waukegan and they're going to have so many different aircrafts up there and if it's it's uh, free parking it's um, I believe it's like $15 for adults kids are free if you're a veteran you're free if you're active service you're free uh, they're going to have food and everything up there so uh, we're really looking forward to that on uh, Saturday September 12th uh, on Friday, that uh, uh, night prior, um, we go to uh, the BGV Motorsports has their uh, cruise night at the lodge. And we participated in that for many years, and that's also fun. Yeah, great food there as well. Saturday night, we've got the traditional Fiorama pizza party at the host hotel, which they are taking reservations um, up till uh, I think August 15th. To get just mention that you're going to uh, Fiorama and uh, they'll take care of you but uh, yeah we've got the Fiorama 
pizza party last year we had almost 70 people attend so that was uh, our biggest uh, host of pizza party yet so uh, it's also a great time to talk and and catch up and stuff like that um, also there's many different things to do around the area as well if uh, you can't make the air show um, or if you're coming a little bit later in the afternoon registration I know is open uh, for Fiorama uh, if you are a uh, current uh, member it's free uh, if you are not we encourage you to sign up uh, ten dollars for the show get you um, uh, Fear Focus magazine for the remainder of the year. That's the September, October issue, the November, December issue, and then all of 2021. So that's uh, uh, a great, great thing for ten bucks. Like I said, it was, uh, the registration's open. Activities are are raring to go. Uh, the locations: Potawatomi Park, our host hotel. Uh, for this year is the uh, Quality Inn and Suites in St. Charles. It's just uh, five minutes from the park. So you can uh, sleep in on that uh, Sunday and, and uh, head on over. You get uh, free breakfast and everything too. So um, again, just mention Fiorama and you'll get a uh, king size bed for 83 bucks plus tax. Or if you wanted uh, two doubles, you can get it for 85 plus tax. Uh, but you have to call the hotel to get this uh, rate. Uh, it is not available online uh, for some reason that the, the coupon code uh, doesn't work so again you can check out all this on uh, fearfocus.com under the fearama tab uh, we are working on a uh, 2020 charity uh, for this year and we're hoping to have that uh, confirmed and ready to go for um, uh, Fiorama this year in the next week or so. Our key sponsors for this year we like to thank. Uh, again, we, we can't do this and keep Fiorama free without you guys. Uh, so we like to thank V8 Archie, the Fiero Store, uh, Mr. Mike's, Woody Buick GMC, and Apple Graphics. Uh, they did all our printing last year for the show, so thank you very much. Uh, some of our, um, our contributors for this year is uh, Groit's Garage and uh, carguygarage.com uh, you can click on those links and it will take you to their website where you can uh, again uh, purchase anything that you you uh, like for your your car your garage and stuff like that so uh, if you're looking to become a key sponsor or would like to become a key sponsor key sponsor or contributor uh please go ahead and email j hallman at fearfocus.com so um yeah uh, we're, we're really really looking forward to uh fiorama this year and and hopefully uh the uh other shows uh can uh, go on without a hitch as well so we're really looking forward to uh, hopefully everything opening back up in in June and even if there's some restrictions but um, you know let us get out there and and have fun with our cars and 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 everybody that uh, we miss so you know a couple of things I want to point out too um, if you're on uh, fearfocus.com uh, a lot of uh, information on this website if you haven't had a chance to check it out uh, please please go uh, go ahead and go over and check it out and you know, we've got uh, our tech tips for your Fiero so many tech tips and we're we've got so many more coming in that uh, we're gonna be getting up on the website as well our uh, detail center that uh, if you uh, remember our um, our resident uh, uh, Wayne Redline Zane, he was our resident doctor detail uh, for a while in Fiero Focus, and um, so we're we're getting uh, his articles up on the website as well. Did a detailing product update with him a couple of years ago on our Fiero Cast. I think he was our number two or number three. Uh, great conversation with him. If you have a chance to listen to that. Uh, please do so. Uh, he is a uh, very good detailer. And we've got our information on Fiorama, our events, if you want to go over and check out the upcoming events. We also have our video library where you can find uh, past uh, uh, club meeting videos. We're also trying to get uh, PowerPoint presentations up there as well so you can have uh, some reference points on those. Our past Fiorama videos, our how-to videos. Uh, we are up to uh, 21 uh, how-to videos now. Um, 
We've got uh, some in here that uh, uh, Knife produced, and then our uh, good friend Ken Smith has also uh, put together a lot of how-to videos for us, and uh, we got all those up on the website for uh, for you if you guys need some projects to do during this uh, shelter in place, and then. Um, We've got our Fiero casts, so um, we've got a couple on there in Fiorama. Uh, we've got uh, Meet the Fear Focus Team uh, again, Doctor Detail. Uh, we've got um, uh, Meet the Founder Jim Hallman, and then uh, uh, Meet the President of the Midwest Fear or Minnesota Fieros Forever, uh, Rob Bartlett. Um, again, we've got so many more coming up too. Um, and just uh, trying to get them into the schedule so uh, again so much information on there uh, Paul's product reviews the 84 to 88 fear price guide especially under the tech tips if you guys have anything that uh, you, you're looking for to do uh, we've got online service guides we've got uh, the uh, we're in the process of redoing the fear of sales website with all their technical information um, and then Penox is on there too um, We've got the technical service bulletins for the 8048 Pontiac Fieros, the complete year information. Um, we have uh, V8 Archie's Archisms up there as well. Uh, everything can be uh, downloaded via, via PDF on the articles. And um, we've got uh, fear articles as well. And then uh, club meeting tech tips. So, um, so hopefully if uh, you have time and you need some, some help, you can uh, take a look at those tech tips if you're looking for a specific item that was in fear of focus we've got our fear of focus index uh, section that uh, will also have all that information too that uh, hopefully um, you can uh, find that uh, back issues as well so uh, in closing for this uh, podcast i uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, just uh, kind of me rambling a little bit but uh, sometimes you uh, yeah, you just got to come up with something new and and uh, different, and so hopefully, it's able to pass some information off to you guys. Uh, again, uh, if you're looking um, to to listen to some future podcasts that we're going to do, we're going to do let's talk the EG. We're going to talk for your price guide uh, with Jen Goss on her cars and the success of the uh, quarantine car show. The Ladies of Knife, the original owners group, uh, Christian Sass, the Fiero Store, uh, Fiorama, uh, Let's Talk V8s with V8 Archie, and, and, and hopefully many more. If you guys can send them my way, if you have some ideas, or if you just want to talk Fieros, uh, we can do that too. Uh, thank you to uh, Bonter Solutions, the Fiero Store, the Knife Store, uh, FieroFocus.com. Uh, the Midwest Fiero Clubs, uh, Rodney Dickman. Uh, yes, thank you to everybody, and and you know you guys are a great supporter of of the Fiero community too. So please uh, show them their support, and if you can uh, buy anything from them, please do so. Uh, help support that small business. Uh, if you like more information, you can find us again on fearfocus.com under the video se selection tab, and then just click on uh, Fearcast. You can find all the Fear past Fearcasts. Uh, you can email me at mcroyer. That's m k r o y e r at fearfocus.com if you have any ideas on any future podcasts or again if you just want to talk fears let me know uh we can uh we can set that up uh, it's everything is functioning now to where i can uh talk to you remotely with that social distancing <laughs> so uh again thank you and um hopefully i didn't ramble too much uh stay safe social distancing and uh, thank you to all the frontline uh, workers and everybody out there that's helping with this COVID-19. So again, uh, keep fearing everybody and see you on the flip side.